very chilly, but it's absolutely it's beautiful. beautiful. Yeah. Um, and today we're going to be doing a brand new project. It's yes. a little bit scary, but it's We've very exciting. We've been looking exciting. forward to this video a lot. Yeah, we have. So um, we're going to be making bottles. bottles. <laughs> Yeah, Funny we're little be bottles. Glass bottles. So we're going to be glo uh, glowing? Blowing our own glass bottles and yeah. It's Using the glass that we found. So most of it is Victorian glass. Yeah, so. most of it's over 100 years old. Yeah. So first we're going to show you a short compilation of us actually finding the glass. Um, and then, yeah. Then we're you can gonna, watch us making our bottles. We're going to get into making them. <laughs> okay, so we're looking for glass for a new project we're doing. It's not beads this time, but it involves melting glass. So I'm going to be taking any interesting pieces of glass, nice colours. Spotted some really pretty coloured glass. Well, I hope it's glass, that orange blob down there. Yeah, that's a nice piece of glass. Bead material and there's lots of bottles and things but nothing we haven't really seen before so we're hoping to get some unusual items today but what's this oh yes it is glass wow that's like fluorescent orange that's really nice glass it's a really nice amber colour. Make a beautiful bead. A nice piece of dark green here. Barrow in fur. That would have said barrow in furness. I'll keep that. Make some lovely coloured beads. Look at that. There's a bit of glass here. It has a lovely pattern on it. It's a lovely colour. So that might might make um, an interesting bead. Oh, I have to film this amazing glass. Look at this amazing glass fragment which you know what I'm gonna use that for beads <laughs> and this is the the bottle lip from which our heart stopper find came from okay here are my first finds not so much that thing I don't know why I picked that up whoops oh no I'm dropping everything uh, I've got a cod marble and some lovely glass love that pink glass there for our beads so I hope that works out oh that's like emerald proper emerald green if it's not focusing yeah that was probably some kind of funky vase oh cool that was gonna be perfect because um, in our experiment so far we found that green works quite well And so in this video, we're going to take it a step further and we're going to try to make some bottles. bottles. I know, we're <laughs> stepping up our game this time, guys. Yeah, it's so 
And, and we just like to say this is not a tutorial, yeah. so please don't copy what we do no. because we don't know what we're doing. <laughs> not really, no. But we're having a go and we're going to try and make some little potion bottles. Aren't yeah, they? little, yeah. little they're, they're just going to be tiny, aren't they? Yeah. Um, we have done a few, we've done a bit of experimenting. You might have seen one on Instagram a Yeah, while if ago. you follow us on Instagram, we've got, yeah, a few, like, the tiniest little bottles. But, um, yeah, we're gonna try making some for you here on camera, and, <laughs> yeah. Alright, let's see how it goes. <laughs> let's see, how we've got, see what happens. Okay, so we're gonna put our safety glasses on, our, um, what are they called? I think they're called didymium. Yeah. Didium, something didium like that. <laughs> glasses or sodium flare glasses, which are gonna protect our eyes from the sodium flare from the flame, and um, they have UV protection as well. So yeah. it's important to wear these general safety glasses as well. Things yeah. can't get in the sides, so <clears> it's all good. <throat> okay, so here are some boxes absolutely full of glass from our various mud locks and bottle digs and we've got a huge selection of glass here that we've been using for beads um, and the problem we have is picking the right glass it's going to have a low enough melting temperature so we can we are able to get a big enough blob of it to be able to blow it into a little bottle so we're going to have to choose the glass wisely aren't we? yeah it's difficult and so it's going to be a matter of trial and error in a lot of cases so let's get trying. Yeah, we'll try and pick the glass that we think will work and yeah, just wing it. Aqua <laughs> kind of colour. I might try a piece of this. Yeah. It's the same one uh -huh. Yeah. You had some pink. Yeah, over here. I've got some green pink glass. So I might have a go with this. Which is the best glass. Do I try this first? seems to be. You can see it kind of going on blobby on the end. Blobby, blobby, blobby. do an experiment. These are my glasses. I'm gonna put them over. Oh look you can see! See how it takes away the flame as well. So you can see the glass that you're working on much better. So not only does it protect your eyes, but you can see what you're doing much better. How cool is that? It also makes reds look really red. Super red.
We're almost there. Let's see it better with these on. See all the bubbles in it. Yeah, we're gonna blow it. Okay, shall I have a go? Yes. Oh, this is scary. Are you scared? Come on, do it. Do it. Make sure you heat it evenly. Is it? Yeah. Yes. Put a bubble in there. Put a bubble. Should I do the bubbles at one side? It's gonna be a wonky bottle, but that's okay. It's okay. Number one in the bag. That was stressful. <laughs> okay, I'm just melting the two um, of these smaller pieces together. Make a big piece. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna try using the pink glass as well that Mum just used. And hopefully, makes a better job of it than me. <laughs> of course. <laughs> okay. Okay, so what we're doing is making the lip um, or the neck of the bottle first before we stick a big blob on the end of the mandrel. Oh no. 
have a problem. messed up bottle that anyone's ever seen in their lives <laughs> <laughs> oh my I gosh like it. oh I like it. it's, cute. it's so messed up <laughs> okay well we're gonna put it in our Japanese cooling bubbles and this is an old crock pot um, and it's heated to warm so it'll allow the glass to dry really slowly dry <laughs> cool really slowly yours is looking a lot better than mine <laughs> yeah but it's not as interesting <laughs> i'm going to have another go Wish let's hope it turned out better than mine <laughs> let's hope it turns out oh as my gosh. <laughs> what color are you going to do this i'm going to do this um Glass. Mm, I like it. It did have writing on it. So I think it was some sort of whiskey flask or something. Yeah. Look at that. 
So here we are on day two of How Not To Make Bottles <laughs> with Gail and Alex.
This is my uh, bottle that I've just made and let's hope it survives the rest of the process. Okay, so I'm going to try with my bottle using some clear glass and it's got some kind of iridescence on it but um, it seems to just melt off so yeah I'm hoping that I can make a lovely little clear glass bottle with this.
Today we're going to give it one last go um, with some new glass. <laughs> new old glass. New old glass. This glass is actually um, fragments of a uh, smelling uh, salt bottle, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. A smelling bottle. Smelling bottle. <laughs> it's over 100 years old glass. So um, yeah, we're going to try using some amber glass as well. So mm. yeah. We haven't got any amber ones yet. No, we haven't got an amber bottle. So fingers crossed this goes well. and. Mm. Yeah, we get some half decent bottles from today. Okay, well, I don't want to reveal them too much, but here are our bottles, <laughs> and I'm about to put them in here. 
to anneal them. Um, we did have one casualty though, unfortunately my favourite bottle uh, cracked as I was trying to get it off the end of the mandrel. Yeah, and I was really proud of that one. But hey ho, we're going to have another go, but for now I'm going to put these ones in the kiln and anneal them. Okay, well I've put them in and let's hope nothing bad happens to them, but we'll put them to anneal at about 500 degrees Celsius and raise the temperature slowly and then leave it on for about an hour at 500 degrees, turn it off and let it cool slowly and yeah probably about seven hours time something like that we'll be able to take them out and they'll be at room temperature so wish them luck Results of our labours. All and sitting in I a row. I think they are so cute. I love them. I have to say, I'm really pleased with them. We do love them. They are so quirky and unusual, and they've got so much character and charm, haven't they? Yeah, and I think the glass dictated how it was going to come out. The glass decided what it was going to be. Yeah, because this by no was by no means modern glass. <laughs> Most of it's over a hundred years old. So and yeah. all glass has different properties. So some of it was easier to blow than others, and um, we just didn't really have a lot of control over it. No, not like modern glass. And I, uh, they were difficult to melt, so it took ages to make each one. Yeah, well, some of them were faster than others, but yeah. So each one is a little mini work of art. It was a learning curve, but. Yeah, we, we got there in the end, and they, they hold things. They yeah, hold things. They're vessels. They're they vessels, and um, we haven't got many little corks, because we've taken the little corks out of... Um, Some the modern bottles that we got. Yeah. yeah. So... Uh, well, modern. These are modern. <laughs> these, well, these are modern <laughs> bottles made out of old glass, which is so cool. In this one, I've put some of our garnets. Yeah, little garnets from Ruby Bay. So um, next time we go garnet hunting, we'll use our own bottles instead of the um, the modern ones that we used on our previous trips to go jam hunting. But this one's funny because I couldn't actually blow the glass; it was too hard. <laughs> but it's got a rim on it, so it's the shallowest bottle in the world. Yeah, look, it just stops there. Got a <laughs> tiny bubble in it. We also made a few other tiny little ones, like this one. Which has, yeah, look, it has a little space in it, so you can put things in there. It's just really, really tiny. Okay, so we really hope you enjoyed watching our little um, adventure into glass blowing. Yeah, we really enjoyed it. And, we loved um, it. Yeah, we came up with some exciting results, we think. We did, and we've got lots to practice with as well, so we're going to continue making more bottles, and I'd like to try putting more feet on like this one it's got yeah. little legs and a handle which would be and cool and a little spout yeah. oh a little spout, a spout yeah yeah that would be so cool. yeah we, we've got maybe a lot of like ideas this with a handle and a spout this reminds me of a little cauldron i like that one yeah i love that one it's so cute and um yeah some of them um went wrong but kind of went right in the end because look isn't it so quirky it's fantastic i love that one and this is the very first bottle I made. 
I love it. I think it's great. It's sort of a golden yellow. Yeah, it's a lovely colour. Sort of imperfections in it. I can't remember what the first bottle I made. It probably went wrong. <laughs> I probably melted it back down. Well, that's the first successful bottle I made, put it that way. <laughs> I like the pink coloured glass, and this glass was supposed to be blue. Um, like aqua coloured blue, but as you can see... It's gone greeny, it's, swirly. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's, it's really nice. It's gone a completely different colour. But yeah, this oh, this one has a, like a little, it's like a teardrop shaped bottle. That's one of yours, Alex. And I pulled... I think Alex has been a bit more adventurous in yeah. her bottles than I have. I was just happy to get something, you know, with a bubble in the middle. And that tiny yeah, little teeny one. Ones, it's got yeah. a funny texture, but I really like it. And I, I think we should definitely try and make some of them into necklaces. Yeah, Wouldn't yeah. Wouldn't that be really cool? Be cool. Oh, and make... A, I had an idea of making little glass stoppers to go in the top. Yeah. Make oh, tiny yeah. little stoppers to go in the top of the bottles. Grind them in. <laughs> How cool would that be? But yeah, we've got lots of ideas, so I'm sure we'll we'll be showing you more of it in the future. But I like to think of magical, mythical potions and things like that. Because they look like they'd have magical potions in. Or poison. Yeah, in a story, the bad guy would have some of these bottles. Or the good guy. Or the good guy. A magical restorative potion. All right, so I have a little bit of history of glass blowing. And it's thought that the first glass bottles were made in Mesopotamia in around 1500 BC. These early bottles were produced by dipping a clay former into the molten glass and then chipping away the clay to leave the hollow glass vessel. It wasn't until the first century BC that the first blown bottles were produced in Syria. Legend has it that glass was discovered in Syria after natron merchants were shipwrecked on a sandy shore. They are said to have used the lumps of natron to prop up their pots to cook food, and the natron, combined with the hot sand, created molten glass. The ancient Romans used the method of blowing glass, and many examples exist to this day. The oldest bottle of wine in the world, which still has wine in it, is Roman and is about 1,700 years old. Roman glassmaking techniques were lost, and it wasn't until the early Middle Ages until it was revived in northwestern and central Europe. Glass blowing continued to be the main method of bottle making right up until the 19th century when moulds began to be used. Okay, so here we'll say goodbye and thank you so much for watching because we really enjoyed making this, this one. Um, and a huge thank you to all of you who comment and like the video, that really helps us. And to all of our subscribers. And all of our patrons who are all really important to us continuing making these wonderful videos for you. Yeah, and also um, all of the people that contribute in lots of other ways. A big thank you to you too. Yeah, and on this video we actually used uh, some of the things that were bought for us on our Amazon wish list. Yeah, so you might see us using them. So all that leaves is to say goodbye until next Sunday. Bye! Bye. It's so beautiful out here. It's freezing, frosty weather. Anyway, look who are here. It's the Shwoos. And um, we're going to test them. We're going to test our bottles. See if the Shwoos approve. Making very impatient little noises there, Brown Shwoo. You ready? Oh, gosh. That was a... <laughs> she pecked my hand. I am worried that she, they're going to break these. Oh no. Oh no. Here's a, a little blue bottle. What do you think? <laughs> yes! That is yes, 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 yes. Okay, what about this pink one? Like the pink one? Yes, love the pink one as well. What do you think, Brashwoo? Okay, and a green one as well. Green one? <laughs> That's a yes from the shoes. That has a positive. <gasps> no! 
Sure. Oh my gosh. 